it's real But when I'm with you I feel A little closer to heaven And yes, you move me that much And I get from your touch A little closer to heaven So this message is for Emily, Emily Doe, I think So I hope I've spelt that, um, said that properly Um just waiting for the timer from the last reading right okay right so Emily um, your question is um, right so so excited about your offer for a reading I love your daily messages and find so much comfort and inspiration from them yay that's great okay um, make sure you share them um, and my question for a reading would be guidance slash advice for my future I just moved out of my parents house we haven't had the best dynamic this past year also I've been feeling a little conflicted about my current relationship any advice about these things or work or whatever comes up would be much appreciated okay great um, so and she says much love and gratitude for all that you do you're very very welcome Emily right so uh, before I started I got a message for you and it was number 42, which is nourishment. And it says, be aware of what you take into your body, heart and mind today. And I thought, this is a weird one to have for that question, but I'm just going to read it because that's what I was given. Avoid unpleasant energies and depressing news stories and eat foods that uplift you and fill you with nutrition. So, Emily, your, your energy at the moment, um, you are becoming more sensitive to energy so and this is one of the reasons right okay that's from the last person so let's start it so this is one of the reasons that you are feeling experiencing all of these shifts in dynamic this is the reason that you are feeling i need to move away from this person or i need to get out of this situation or this doesn't feel right i can't be here i can't deal with you all of that sort of feeling this is the sense i'm getting from you that there's, there's a frustration there and also sometimes you can't express what the frustration is you can't express what's going on why do I feel like this why you know I just know I can't be with you right now or you know it's it's all it's like that so I, and you know I kind of pick up vibrations in empathy when I'm connecting with a person and I'm having trouble expressing myself right now so uh, let me know if you rec <laughs> recognize that energy right guys you can take it away now please I think we've got the message okay so I want to say to you trust your feelings on everything and that isn't to say that you know some people are villains or this is wrong or that's wrong it's just that sometimes we outgrow situations and people now obviously with family you know ideally we work through these things so this isn't to say yes you've had a weird dynamic recently a part of it is because you're becoming so sensitive so you will need to adjust and you will need to adapt and you know there is a there is a degree of live and let live here that you need to to go back inside yourself find yourself find your own balance again find your autonomy and your sense of self this is really important and just kind of let the chips fall where they may for a while because the most important thing you need to do right now is recalibrate and re-establish your own sense of who you are in the world and, and what you're doing and how you're going to kind of move your life forward is what I'm hearing, okay? So focus, home in on that, okay? Really, completely for the time being and try not to let anything else um, distract you from that and try to trust and focus on, um, you know, not to an obsessive degree, but focus on what you're feeling inside in each moment and take the time and space that you need to just get clear in your own head. I feel that these, some of these distractions are making it, you know, hard for you to know what you want sometimes. And so this is where, you know, avoid unpleasant energies and depressing news stories. What that is reminding me of is that whatever is around you at the moment is going to have an impact on you for good or bad. So, um, you know, and that isn't, again, either to judge those people. It's just what you need to focus on for the next three or four months is ideally <laughs> is really positive influences and 
you know, you will have to make your own mind up about the role that people are going to play in your life long term. Spirit will not tell you what to do about that. I do feel that there's a connection that's kind of on the fringes, on the periphery of your experience. So in other words, your soul is expanding and it seems to be getting smaller in terms of what you feel is important. And I'm just reflecting back to you what I'm seeing, not telling you what to do because you'll need to make that decision. However, I have to say what I'm hearing, which is honouring your path and your soul lessons is your needs to be your priority for the next three or four months. So you can do that within a relationship or you can do that not within. It's your choice. It's just that the emphasis is shifting for you right now because you're recognising that there's something else you need to see. And um, take in nutrition. So eat foods that uplift you and fill you with nutrition. And that also applies to people. It also applies to situations, the places you go, the things you do, the activities you get involved in, you know, stay away from um, violent TV and things like, you know all of this. I don't feel that I have to tell you this, but, you know, where there are influences that draw you into things or activities that don't necessarily feel good to you right now, you also need to say, no, I think I need to just spend a little time um, going for walks in nature or do some reading. I need to get clear in my mind. I need to think my way through um, to decide what my my next steps are going to be. I do also feel that there is possibly an issue with food as well, where your way of eating has changed recently and you're not necessarily pleased with it. So I want you to look at that and address it and ask yourself, why am I doing this? What are the things that are, you know, when do I feel like I, I need to, it's, it's kind of, it's not exactly comfort eating, but it's just sort of going off the path slightly from your preferred way of doing things. And um, I just want you to pay attention to that and notice what your body's telling you. Everything we eat carries an energy for better or worse. And, and today, these are daily messages, but just take this as a general note. Um, you may become sharply aware of any negative beliefs and poor programming you are ingesting and um, perpetuating through your food choices. So in other words, why are you doing these things? Um, what is it that you're saying to yourself? What is it that needs to change? Or what feelings are you stuffing down? Notice, notice, notice. It's absolutely fine to indulge yourself when you do so consciously, but sometimes comfort food is not bringing you comfort at all, but keeping you asleep, stuck in a pattern of self-limitation. Wake up and stay awake. It's a time for interrupting patterns, okay? So I hope that made sense to you. I'm going to pull a couple of cards for you and uh, try to get down to... Um, now, what was your question? Feeling a bit conflicted about relationship? Again, your choice. Um, advice about these things or work or whatever comes up yes right so let's look at work that's the thing that we haven't really looked at and I'm I'm picking I'm looking for cards spirit angels please guide me regarding what to tell Emily just overall uh, that one just fell out overall to help her on her journey just to get some more clarity just to get some more inner peace and um, again, I'm feeling a little bit of a sick feeling in my stomach. So there's something going on there, definitely, with the, the food or the stomach. Right, Angel of Clearing is the one that fell out. Your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. So go with the flow, keep noticing, and return to the right way when it comes to dietary choices and things like that. That's if that's a literal interpretation of the um, message. I feel like it's a lot to do with energy and being sensitive and absorbing more energies. But if it does apply to you with diet as well, then, you know, pet, just pay attention and make some changes. And that will help you to feel clearer. That will clear your mind. Okay? Drink more water as well. Um, let's do past, present and future. God of reflection. Angel of new life. And I'm going to leave the future one till last. Right, so... What's brought you up till now? What's brought you up to this point? Um, right, so I know that there's a message on the card, but what I feel is it's a lot of reflection, inner reflecting and soul searching that's brought you to this point, okay? But also the card says the qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection. So 
This is a really great card for you to have because you've asked about relationships, relationships with parents, relationships with, you know, the relationship person. Don't, you know, don't project too many of these feelings of anxiety that you're currently having about your path generally onto them. That's not a criticism. What it's actually saying is try to look at them really closely, each of those connection, connections and ask yourself, well, what are they telling me about myself that I haven't been willing to see up till now? What are they actually reflecting back to me? What, what, what are they, these connections showing me that I'm trying desperately to learn as a soul in order to move me forward? Where are they showing me limitation? Where are they showing me criticism and judgment? Or in the case of, um, you know, the partnership, where, where are they showing me um, self-limitation? Where are they showing me, um, I don't know, maybe settling for less than I deserve? Where are they show what are they showing me rather than where are they awful people? That's the perspective that's going to take you forward. I feel that you've actually become aware of that recently because they're bringing my attention to this light that's shining in and shining over this consciousness. So I don't feel you've got a small view of it anyway, but I want you to expand on that and just look a little bit deeper. That's where you've been. This is where you are now. An exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold. So you know you're on the verge of change. You're looking at change in all areas of your life at the moment and you're asking where do these relationships support that change? That's the crux of it. Let's just face it. That's what's happening. You are, there is something there waiting to emerge and you are ready to go for it. You are ready to change lots of things and you are wondering whether these relationships are going to support you in that change. I would say adjust adapt and focus on the positive rather than entangle with they're trying to do this or they're trying to do that or they always get in the way of it. Forget that. They're reflecting your own inner resistance. Leave it. Move it to one side and focus on am I really ready for this? Am I looking for excuses not to go for it? And your outcome. Angel of self-worth. So really that's where all these problems are coming from. You need to look more deeply. The card says you are currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to regain your self-worth. So you're going to need to do that in many areas. Okay, You're going to need to express differently how you want your relationships to be. But I feel that you need to focus first and foremost on this new life, this new way of seeing and valuing yourself, dealing with the self-worth issues and moving into something better having this upgrade that you need to have in your work and in other areas and let the relationship chips fall where they may around that okay hope that helps you take care and the best of luck with everything it's going to be great okay bye i don't know if it's real but when i'm with you i feel a little closer to heaven and yes you move me there.